In this video, we'll explain the green screen functionality of our Professional Windows Edition. Green screen allows you to replace a green screen background with any image to get results such as this example. In order to make the green screen replacement work, you will need a solid green or blue backdrop to add behind your guests. You can find green screens on our website under Recommended Supplies. Now go ahead and select Green Screen on the top menu. You'll notice several options on this screen. Let's go over the different options under Green Screen Removal, which is your first step. To turn the green screen function on, you will need to select one of the following. Photo Only, which will replace your green screen once the photo is taken. Photo and Live View which will also replace the green screen during the video preview if your camera supports it. Next, let's go ahead and select our background. This is the image that will replace our green screen. You can insert multiple images to use as your backgrounds. If you have more than one background, you can have the software cycle through the backgrounds. Alternatively, you can have your guests choose their background by choosing User's Choice. By selecting a sample test photo, DSLR Booth will show you a preview of your test photo with the green screen replaced with the background image. You can also do the same to test your Live View green screen replacement. It's that simple. In order to get better and consistent results, you can use manual settings. By selecting Manual, you can now control the Key Color, which is the background green color. Sensitivity, which indicates how much of the background to replace. Highlights, which affects replacement of light areas. And Shadows which affects replacement of dark areas. Always make sure you use one flash positioned centrally or two flashes to the left and right of your camera at a 45 degrees to get even lighting with the least amount of shadows. The bigger your light source, the better the results you will get. Leave a little bit of space between your subject and your background for better results. We hope you've benefited from this tutorial, and as always, we're here to answer any questions.